they're doing today's movie is going to be The Baron, starring Stephen Moyer of True Blood fame. And they've been advertising it all over YouTube, so you've probably seen it if you're into the horror thing. But the story revolves around a man who takes his family, his wife, his two kids, out to the Jersey State Park to go camping to get closer with his family. And basically the story involves the Jersey Devil, if you've ever heard of that. It's sort of like a Sasquatchy type demonic thing that, you know, of lore lives in the New Jersey State Parks. So the basis for the story is that, like I said, he takes his family camping. And really, the, at the core of the story, it's, you know, he has this troubled relationship with his wife and his kids and all this stuff. And they go to get closer, but at the same time, the whole story revolves around him, whether it's psychologically in his head, if there's a real Jersey Devil, and that's the big question that's asked in this movie. The film was also directed by Darren Lynn Bosman, who you guys probably have heard the name before. He directed Saw 2 through 4, I believe, if I'm correct, off the top of my head. So, you know, he has some experience in the horror genre. So what did I like about this movie? Uh, basically, I liked kind of the way they built up the psychological tension in the film. Like I said, you're not quite sure through the course of the film if, you know, the main character is imagining this stuff or the Jersey Devil's real. They have a few extra characters thrown in and there's a lot of red herrings thrown in. So it kind of keeps you guessing pretty much till the last minute. I like that part. And like I said, the psychological mixed with the supernatural pretty good stuff. At the end, I like the ending. It kind of saved the movie in my opinion. The things I didn't like about it and I, there's quite a few things that like I don't think Stephen Moyer can act that good. He I'm True Blood, my wife watches it so, you know, I like it too, but she's a big fan and I don't think he's a good actor already. And in this one, he I mean, he's trying to play this super tense psychologically you know, and part of it is that he's sick. I don't want to get too much into it to ruin it for you, but he's basically sick and I don't know, his delivery of the lines, the way he portrays the character, I just didn't like it. And all across the board, the acting is pretty flat. Um, besides that, the effects, not so good. And the whole thing with the psychological and supernatural is like a double-edged sword because, you know, you find out at the end, which I liked, what's really going on. They don't keep you guessing totally, but, I mean, there's so many red herrings. And then they have so many flashback scenes, and, you know, they're telling the story of the Jersey Devil, and, all these flashbacks and stuff. I really don't like that. And then, you know, all his, they explain why he's having like sort of like visions and stuff, which is fine, but I really didn't like it. Like I said, the acting was the worst part of the movie. The ending saves it. So I'm going to give it 2.5 out of 5. Uh, Darren Lynn Busman, I don't know. I'm not a fan of his work. Saw 2 through 4 weren't that good. Uh, Stephen Moyer probably can't act that good. That's my, uh, leading theory right now. He was in another movie I did a review for called The Caller, which is a way better movie. I'll put the link in the um, description or the annotation here. So 2.5 out of 5, not the greatest. If you're a big Steve Moyer fan, you might want to watch it. If you're a Jersey Devil person, you might want to watch it. They could have really made a good monster movie. Instead, they took the psychological, supernatural route, and I think they should have just tried to keep it simple. It would have been a lot better. That's my personal opinion. So if you've seen the movie, tell me what you think below. Um, all right, guys, I'm out of here.